my name is John from Final Cut Pro Classes, and this tutorial is about what happens when you have two clips with keyframes at the end and the beginning and you put a transition on that, and why your transition will not look as smoothly as you'd like, and how to fix it. Let me show you. So here I made a timeline that's 1920 by 1080, and these pictures are much bigger because I want to keyframe them in and out without pixelating. So I'm just going to take a random picture and drop it in. And I want to do a blow up on this, so I'm just going to start there, put my keyframe, go to the last frame, and make my blow up there, so just randomly. Okay, so that's the move for this, this one here. So then I'm going to add, let's say, another picture here, and I'll just throw this one in here. And I'll go to the first frame, which I'm there because I see that mark. And I'll just do a simple pan up from here. Here's my keyframe. And I'll go to the last frame and then I'll do a pan up here. And maybe I'll scale her up as she pans up. Okay. So here I have these two cuts here and they're keyframed at the last frame and the first frame here. So now I want to put a transition on there to make a nice smooth transition to the next shot. So I can either go Command T, Default, Cross Dissolve, or I can go to my Transitions, just grab a Cross Dissolve, drag it on the cut. So now when I play this, if you look really closely, you can see that the, the shot on the right and the left, they stop in the middle of the transition. So the move doesn't start until the transition is halfway, and this one stops at the halfway mark. And that is because when you add a transition, you're adding frames to each end of the shot. And the way to fix that would be if you open your video animation on both, you can see that your keyframes are not at the end of the transition. So here, this, this move doesn't start until this keyframe, but if you just drag those back to the very beginning of the transition, then that will be smooth. And the same with this one. If you open up video animation and you drag this keyframe over, that move will continue until the dissolve is out instead of freezing in the middle of the dissolve. And it's the same for effects. So if I take a shot here, I'm just going to grab a random hamburger. Okay, and I go to my uh, effects palette and let's say that I want just a simple, um, I'm just going to grab the 50s TV effect here. So if I keyframe this here, and let's say the amount of 50s TV I want is that much, and I go to the very last frame, and by the time I get to the last frame, I want it all the way up. Okay, so I want that effect to go all the way through until the next shot. And then I put a dissolve on it. So if I go to my cross dissolve, and I'll just put that dissolve on. All the transitions will work the same, but a cross dissolve is just easy to see. So if I go through this, that effect at 100% here is in the middle, and I, I really want it to go all the way through the, the dissolve itself. So if I open up this video animation, I can see that that effect keyframe is not going to the very end of this dissolve. It's, it's stopping in the middle. So I can just drag that over and have it all the way at the end so it's a, a smooth transition into the next shot. So anyway, I hope that helps you understand keyframes within transitions, how to fix some maybe jumpy cuts. Like or subscribe. Hope you liked the video. See you next time. Thank you.